Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the orchestration section. Right now we are in a position where we have most of our transformations finished. So we just want to execute them in a specific order. We will use cattle chops therefore which allow us to specify some workflows. First off we will load the dimensions in parallel and after that we will load our fact table. In our case we only have one but in theory you could load the fact tables in parallel if you had more than one. So from the project folder open up this SLL agile and DMA DDL SQL script and rerun the DMA part here so we drop all the tables on the DMA schema and recreate them so that we have a fresh start and next up create a new job save it as job load teams in parallel and um, at the start job entry so this one always has to be in there it's the first one next at uh, three transformation job entries double click on them and let's reference our transformations that populate the dimensions so customer lens I always copy here the name of the transformation so that I know what is being executed up here. And um, the date. Okay. And um, let's create um, hops between the start entry and these ones. Basically, we only want to execute date transformation the very first time we run that so you have here some conditions to choose from and we will use the one that will evaluate row numbers in a table just drop that one here in the last hop and for the connection SLS DMA target schema we use again the parameter we set up earlier on and the table name is dim date and we want to say okay if it equals to zero the row count we want to execute that otherwise can use a dummy just don't do anything okay now the secret to run this in parallel is to right click on the start job entry and say launch next entries in parallel then you will see this warning message read it properly and try to understand it and you will see the hops change now to these dotted lines and basically when these transformations are executed as we already said they will be executed in parallel and so they can finish they won't finish all at the same time so if you had other job entries falling after that one they would probably be all initiated at a different time so never do anything after this one here it's not the wise idea just if you want to execute something in parallel create a dedicated transform a uh, job for this one do just this little bit of executing in example like here the three transformations and then use other main job to do something after that you will see in a bit um, we'll do it exactly the same so that looks good now so basically everything is set up and we can execute this job now just to sum up again we created this uh, very dedicated job to execute the three transformations which populate the dimensions in parallel and as a special condition we added that uh, date dimension should only be executed the very first time we run this job so next up we will create the main job and then we have a way to execute our whole process in one go. So just test this bit now to make sure it's properly working. See you in a bit.